Welcome to TRS Clips, where you'll find happiness through your own curiosity. So I want to talk a little bit about the food experience, okay? So it begins with like starters that are like, yeah. and the starters are also epic. And on the, uh, you know, the the tag for the starters, they've written about the ingredients, some of which were sourced from South America, some yeah, of which yeah, were sourced yeah. from Japan. Yeah. Uh, you And you could feel the freshness in the food. Yeah. But what really blew me away was the actual dinners. Yeah. So on the, it, it was one floor above the yeah. uh, main wedding area. Uh, there was a floor full of food and places sure. to sit and eat. You you enter and you see a long line, like a really long line, probably like 200 meters or 300 meters long of, of just dessert counters with yeah. different desserts. Yeah, it was crazy. Um, fresh then, waffles, fresh crepes. Uh, there was a, like a flower arrangement where it was like flower cupcakes and flower petal, petals that were edible. I missed a lot of it because so we got so jet lagged we had to leave early on Friday. Mm. Food got served at like eleven. We left at like ten thirty. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, one during during the barat there was like the tiramisu with caviar that I really wanted to eat. <laughs> but like I'm not leaving the I don't want to leave the barat line. There's Bollywood stars right here. I'm not leaving that fucking line. So I missed so many of the food stands. I was so irritated because so much of the good food I didn't get to eat. The the jot I did have though that was fire. So this is also cool. You're walking through, again, if you know Bollywood at all, this looks like a Sanjay Leela Bansali set. This is like when he depicts 1940s India, this beautiful, clean thing. That's what one of the floors look like. And it's just different food stands all throughout. And like shops where they're selling, like they were giving away bangles. I heard they were giving away uh, like designer sunglasses, yeah. like Versace sunglasses. There, there were we shops, that. shops built into the wedding setting. And not, but not all of them charged. Some of them just gave you the shit. It was yeah. crazy. Did any of them charge? Uh, there was some, there was like a jewelry one. Obviously they're not going to give away, you know, diamond necklaces and stuff. They're selling. Oh, maybe they that, will. Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe. This is what is called a, uh, Bhandara in Indian culture, which mm -hmm. is, uh, like a free of cost dinner or lunch for a huge number of people. Like longer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. My wife is six. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's exact same concept. Okay. Uh, pre, pre-wedding. Uh, and there was also pretty much a bhandara that went on inside yeah, over yeah. three days. Yeah, thousand um, percent. But also bhandara of clothes yeah. and sunglasses. And like uh, there was a shop uh, full of Banarasi saris. The, the oh, are those being given away? I think so, bro. Damn it. Um, <laughs> Damn it. But you, it was, it was so big in terms of size that it took time to even go to each shop. Yeah, we didn't, go, like, we didn't go to each shop. There's no way you could humanly experience the whole wedding. There was that much to do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so some more context on the food was that uh, there was a pan shop, but it was run by an actual Banarasi pan shop owner who was flown in from Banaras. Uh, there was a yeah. Lassi shop yeah. where the owner was flown in from somewhere uh, yeah. else. It was like they'd kind of got uh, entire restaurants and placed them with, within the wedding. Yeah. Uh, and that's also what went on the buffet upstairs. I think there was every, every cuisine you can think of. But when it comes to Indian food, it was food from Dampuk, which is like considered one of the best Indian chains in the world. Then uh, yeah, yeah. the the Italian place, I'll never yeah. forget that food. Yeah. I, I don't remember the name. And I'm from New York and I've, well, not from, I live in New York now. And I'll judge Italian food so harshly now because I grew up in Texas. Italian food there, I realized sucks. That was, and my wife is from Philadelphia, the great Italian food. Both of us were like, this is crazy. This is yeah. crazy. We had, they, we just had them build, build, bring us a whole pie, a whole margarita pizza. <sighs> Just for us. It was so good. Uh, and there was a Japanese stall, a French stall, uh, an Asian stall. There was yeah. like in any cuisine you can think of. Yeah. It was probably the best restaurant serving that cuisine, but set up within that buffet. Yeah. A uh, very intense experience for food lovers. So I think food is best enjoyed when you're sharing it. Mm -hmm. And we, I was late on day two. So I ended up I chilling know. with one of my co-founders, Harshil. And we just went to every stall and we ensured that we didn't eat too much because we wanted to try like yeah, everything. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and we still couldn't try everything. Yeah. Because you just crazy. got full after a point. Yeah. Hey, if you enjoyed today's clip, make sure you check out all the other clips we've uploaded on this channel. You'll find a clip related to almost every single topic as long as you're willing to search for it.